Hi everyone, so we are going to meet the long awarded officer crop tree today. So expect nothing from this video but 20 minutes of madness. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Yes, because the moaning is to moan. And what do you think we are doing in France before lunch and after lunch? We are moaning all the time. So yes, we love the moaning. I have bad news. <laughs> This piece of paper has been pissed <laughs> on the wheels of the town square. The troon carrying the sausage has been bummed by the RAF. Bummed by the RAF? Oh, well, little pisses all over the track. <laughs> Get through to London so that I can spook on the rodeo. It is. Who is the fuzz with the bad French? <laughs> He is an expert on escaping from London. I think so bad in London. <laughs> Can I help you, uh, officer? An elderly lady outside in a bath chair has been heating the bottle. <laughs> What? He is drunk. He is posed as a newt. <laughs> She has pissed out. <laughs> Yes, that happens sometimes and it's very sad. What bravery! What fortitude! <laughs> you had better get her out of here before anything worse happens. <laughs> and do not drip her. Keith, you punter. Move along, you windy little man. Stamp, I will give you the signal. I will then send in the two tits. <laughs> I will myself enter after two shots from the revolver. What are we to do? With my disguise as policeman, I am able to escort you there. Look, can you not find a phrase book and improve your French? It is terrible! I think his French is pretty salad. Nobody has complained so far. If they do, I will tell them that I am from the left bunk. Can we not go perhaps a little faster? I will dingle a carrot in front of the dinky. That is butter. We shall be there very sheetly. <laughs> Yvette and I will hold the coat in the ear. On the word go, we will lunch it. <laughs> What do I do? Yeah. Take the wire and run into the wind as fast as you can. And good lick. <laughs> I have come to collect my bursicle. What versicle? <laughs> the versicle which produces the electricity for the rodeo when you piddle in your wife's mother. <laughs> uh, may I have the spoon to steer my kiffy? Uh, it is cleverly done. <laughs> Mimi, you could have killed him. <laughs> you have raised a limp on my hod. Press the plinger and direct the nizzle at the muddle of the fear. The fire is out. We have done our duty as firemen. We will now climb down the litter and goo. <laughs> Where is the fire engine? Somebody has driven it a woo. <laughs> Are you the driver of this team? Of course not, you fool! I'm outside it, am I not? Clarence, come out! Show yourself! 
A woman driver. No, it's sucks. The woman can drive as good as the moon. I might have goosed. <laughs> Look, I, 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 my life is in danger, so I will confess to all of these things as long as you lock me up. I see. Unfortunately, all the sills are filled to capacity. <laughs> Could you come back next week? <laughs> Next walk is pretty modern. He's a bit ahead of his time, Monsieur Cratre. God, why do I pay rates? <laughs> I have the British Earmen in a sill at the police station. <laughs> I'll keep them there. I cannot. To detain them more than 24 hours is against the law. <laughs> I will return them to you as soon as possible. <laughs> Okay, that's it. I think my brain cells are starting to melt. Because actually what he's saying is perfectly sound. I think if you take away the accent, maybe he's the only guys in the show that actually makes sense so far. <laughs> so far, to give the... Okay, okay, sorry. Yes, and I shall send them back to you as soon as possible. <laughs> Why were all those purple running out of your coffee? <laughs> For once, I am glad to see you. That idiot girl has killed this French general. He is due at the chateau for the conference. When they miss him, they will come searching for him. <laughs> I do not think that he is dead. <laughs> Here are the two earmen. They will wait here for the bumming by the RAF. Can you speak English? Explain to them what is happening. Okay, traps, sit here. <laughs> Lots more RAF blokes will be joining you. Will they be dressed as onion sellers? Well, of course. What a lark. <laughs> they are taking a long time. Do you think we should have a poke? A poke to see what is happening. <laughs> when you ribbed the bonk, there was a wetness. A wetness? <gasps> he has drawn pictures of the cisbox. <laughs> the cisbox. The Yes, you are the cisbox. Sus Suspects. Suspects. Is there not a language school to which you can send this man? Do you have the long distance dick? Perhaps I'm ready for takeoff. I will move these peasants out of the wee and make a clear pit. What is this idiot doing here? It is a good disguise. I can wick anywhere in the hospital without a raising suspicion. Or they oh, that's a good plan. He's a very clustered man. I can see is my Ebrews. They have one dummy under the trolley and another one pushing it. I am very sorry, Officer Crabtree, but we are closed. In that case, I am licky to have caught you. <laughs> It's not licky for me. <laughs> I have a massage for you. <laughs> Michelle is in the town square. She has a new a scoop apparatus for the British Earmen. I'm going to tell her to stay in the square. <laughs> when I give her the secret signal, she will appear like a phantom out of the newt. You may return. Is there another key? Of course. I always carry a spear. <laughs> if you tell anyone about this, you will be shot. My lips are soiled. Oh uh, yeah, if you keep on hanging around René's cafe, I bet your lips are soiled. Here is the timetable. We will leave by the next train. There are no trunes. The one that was deruled by the Christmas pitting is still blicking the loom. This is not my day. Leave the cuss in the pissage way. Yeah, 
S where we all piss by. That's where the constant smell of urines in Paris comes from. God knows I'm a fruit. <laughs> bud? Very bud. Last knit. Operation Waterloo was a complete and utter kicker. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, Waterloop was a big default for us. <laughs> oh, the teed went out and the submarine is bitched on a sandbank. <laughs> a monumental kick up. <laughs> the ensuing rush of water will flush the Enigma machine down the drain and we can all breathe easily once more. Yet another master plan from British intelligence. Good morning. <laughs> Which will probably go wrong. <laughs> I am the brunger of Bod Tooding. <laughs> what did I tell you? <laughs> This is the plin. When the time is root, they will wick down the canal to the ostuary, where they will be pocked up by a submarine. <laughs> what? what? How are they supposed to walk down the canal? They are six feet tall. The canal is eight feet deep. They will drown. That is the clever bot. <laughs> On their hods, they will carry an upturned tin bot. <laughs> no, he has lost me. <laughs> This place is crawling with Germans. Please go away. Keep a cool hod and do not panic. <laughs> do not panic. All we need is a quick lick to see how it wicks, and we'll be if to England. <laughs> We all need a good lick. Okay. Agent 60 noon. Agent Farty. <laughs> For the last 24 whores, they have been standing in Witter up to their nicks. They were under the upturned bath in the estuary, waiting for the submarines. Yes, well, we are very sorry. So I should thunk. <laughs> That's it, my brain is just... just left. You made me look a right duckhead. <laughs> Rene, it is the time for speaking to London. Yeah, well, I cannot work the mechanism of the new aerial, so art burn. <laughs> I can walk the mechanism because I have seen it din. <laughs> Well, in that case, you had better follow Moo. <laughs> and the funny stuff is that at some point, René, his wife, and so on are going to have the same accent than Officer Crabtree, who, by the way, in real life speaks perfect French. <laughs> Why do you not carry an ear? Because I have a microphone. <laughs> Clever duck. Good morning. Good morning. Are you a loon? <laughs> you can see I am not a loon. But there are no nitzes in your coffee. <laughs> no, we had an elf inspector in only last week. <laughs> He means Nazis in the cafe. His French is getting worse. Yeah. Oh. This is Ronnie Artois. Good morning. <laughs> oh, I think it's Officer Crabtree's girlfriend. <laughs> Do they not teach any of you to speak French? <laughs> they have a very strange accent in this dust trip. I expect they are peasants. We were trained to talk pish. <laughs> Where is the pudgeon? Under my hut. <laughs> well, he seems to be raring to go. Wendy, the colonel is outside. Oh my God, keep that thing still for heaven's sake. <laughs> Sounds as if it is laying an og. 
That's how I wash you and I could flew away together high up in the clots. Could we not stew away together in the biscuit? <laughs> no, we wee too much. <laughs> <coughs> Monsieur Leclerc, you were not supposed to leave your sill. You would get me into trouble. <laughs> well, in that case, could we have coffee instead of tea and perhaps a sandwich? Crib meat, simon, or sardine? <laughs> oh, just a biscuit will do. I mistake the British earman to be wooed on the Feshminger's scones. What is this lunatic on about? He wants to take the British airman to be weighed on the fishmonger scales. Whatever for? London hoped to send a light aircraft and they need to knee their woods so they can flee them at knit to England. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> it is you. What were you doing upstairs? I have just delivered the extra minx disguise for you. It is bogger than the other one. What? Where have you put it? Under the bod of your mither in loo where no one will fond it. Good. <laughs> where are the earmen? They are in the kitchen. Tick me to them. I must give them a massage from Michelle. Very nice. <laughs> On these two trillies <laughs> are two barrels of boar for the sergeant's miss. <laughs> they are a goft from Ronnie's Kiffy. <laughs> if you rude this hand rotten newt, <laughs> all will be exploded. <laughs> what is she talking about? <laughs> He's from the mountains. Okay, that's not his fault because he was born in Naples. That's where the funny accent comes from. I think I need an aspirin now, guys. Actually, I understand why he was so recommended. Anyway, I hope you liked it. Don't hesitate to give me a comment and have a nice day.